Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thanks for joining. If you haven't subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell to get updates. Also, follow me on my social media. Thank you. Today's tutorial is how to formulate a stable, effective, and safe homemade skincare for beginners with these five steps i'm about to share with you please do not skip adverts encourage and support this channel to do more things okay guys let's get started first let's go through the steps then i explain them one after the other number one know and understand the ingredients used in skincare formulation Two, know the categories of ingredients. Three, know the equipment used in skincare. Four, planning in skincare formulation. Five, good manufacturing practices. So guys, let me explain them one after the other for better understanding. Guys, you have to know your ingredients. Make research about your ingredients experiment with your ingredients and know how they work ask questions from your suppliers because there are some ingredients that some um, have um, usage rates for instance using shea butter you have to make research on shea butter what does shea butter do for skin what is the smell of shea butter do you like it Will customer like it? How do you deal with the graininess of um, shea butter? What color does it have? Will, will the color affect the end result of my formulations? What is the solubility? Is it oil or water soluble? You need to find out if it's compatible with other ingredients. Will I add it to water or oil phase? Since it's oil soluble, it has to go with the oil phase ingredients. The pH dependent. You also need to know the skin feel. Does it feel good on skin? All this you have to find out about your ingredients before you can use them in your formulations. Ingredients can be categorized under the following some ingredients can also fall into two or more of these categories we have the foundation ingredients active ingredients botanical ingredients functional ingredients additive ingredients aromaceuticals aesthetic ingredients on the foundation we have water or hydrosol waxes butter oil under active ingredients we have like vitamin a b c lightning powders alantoin sim white licorice and so on those are active ingredients botanicals are like raspberry, turmeric, pineapple, rice powder, oatmeal powder, orange peel, aloe vera, and so on. Functional ingredients are humectant, emulsifier, exfoliant, for example, glycerin, propendiol, sugar. All these are functional because they have specific functions they perform in the formulations. Mm -hmm. 
additive ingredients are vitamins, preservatives, and color. Aromaceuticals are the essential oil and the fragrance oil we had at the end of the formulation to give it a nice scent. An aesthetic ingredient is um, the beautifying of the finished product to make it attractive or look nice to customers. This is just for marketing purpose. Step 3 is equipment, beakers and watch glasses, big blenders and mixers, spatulas, pipettes, thermometers. We need thermometer to check the temperature of our formulations. We don't want to cook our formulations, we only need to eat them. Besides, some ingredients are heat sensitive. Scales and pH meter pH meter is very important to know the pH of whatever you are formulating. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. 0 is strongly acidic and 14 is strongly alkaline. 7 is in the middle of the scale and is neutral. Human skin is naturally acidic. The research shows the skin pH is between 4.7 to 5.7 and our skincare formulation should be between the range of the skin's pH. The next step is planning. We need to plan. We just don't enter the lab and start mixing, no. Firstly, you need to know what you are formulating. What product are you formulating? Is it toner, cleanser, mask, face oil, lotion, cream? Then who are you designing the product for? Is it acne prone skin, dry skin, oily skin, matured skin? After deciding on who you are making the product for, you want to take your pen and paper and write down the formula. This is important guys, you have to write your formula in percentage and then convert them to grams. This helps you to recreate another batch, you can create in large or small batches. Don't be scared of making mistakes, it gives you more experience. Start with few ingredients and then you can add more ingredients as you progress. It helps you to identify any ingredient that can likely to cause irritation. When there are too many ingredients in a formulation, it is very difficult for you to identify which one is causing irritation. When you are formulating for the first time, start with small batches to avoid wastage. For instance, when you are making a tuna, you need to plan, write it down in the lab note and keep it simple. Don't use too many ingredients. Now step 5 is the GMP, Good Manufacturing Practices. Your work area needs to be clean and sanitized. Your equipment needs to be sanitized. You can start with a small section of your kitchen. This is the end of this video guys, hope you find it helpful, thanks for watching and see you soon in my next video, bye!